This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. Welcome to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne Taves as he visits with Tim Stroda with the Kansas Pork Association about the pork outlook in the state of Kansas. Dwayne Taves joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and a chance to catch up with Tim Stroda with the Kansas Pork Association. Tim, we think about uh, the swine industry in Kansas. It continues to be vibrant. Certainly there are ups and downs in the markets, uh, but in terms of production, we continue to hold our own. Uh, that'd be correct. And I always get the question about, uh, are there any new farms coming to Kansas? And yes, there are. And surprisingly, I probably work with more small farms coming to the state than, than large farms that, that we're helping through the permitting process and uh, look at niche markets. Um, either uh, the, those packers are not going to be in the state, but they're in uh, several surrounding states, and as far as uh, actually talking with a call yesterday with a group from Oregon that was looking for pigs from small farms. So uh, you never know what the next phone call is going to be. You certainly think about uh, those opportunities. Uh, it's almost like we're seeing a, a re-diversification of some of our farm and ranch operations. Uh, that would be very correct. Uh, these all have programs that are specific. Uh, they may be organic. Uh, they may be non uh, GMO that they're asking for. They may be uh, no antibiotic or they may be regular, what I'll call regular production. So we have the, the whole gamut of farms that are, are looking at doing um, uh, whatever their program calls for and what that packer is calling for, which is what a consumer someplace is asking for. So and uh, we're trying to meet those needs um, uh, to ha let everybody enjoy uh, great pork. Talk about uh, the consumer a little bit. Uh, that individual, what uh, what the makeup is of that consuming public is changing over time in society with, with different interests and needs. And certainly pork is very a forefront uh, in current trends of today. Uh, we have, uh, of course, we have bacon. Uh, and that's that's hard to, to beat that. Uh, there's no reason to get off that horse. We just, just stay right with the bacon. And uh, of course, pulled pork uh, uh, has been very good for us in uh, in restaurants. Um, it has really kind of become our what what we would call our hamburger is is pulled pork, and uh, we have uh, is one of the growing segments across the nation in in restaurants and food service. As far as uh, production uh, issues within the state of Kansas, uh, obviously we continue to work on things, uh, be it water quality or manure management. I know there's some concerns out there about uh, uh, some of the regulations concerning odor that, uh, that are upon us at this point as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, as our, our facilities, the, the new, newer style facilities have do a, a little better job of, of handling that um, uh, some of our smaller facilities that we're looking at the niche would be uh, closer back to uh, what people think of as a hog farm in the, in the 50s, basically. Um, but we hope with some best management practices that uh, we can help those farmers do a little better job of being good neighbors. Well, our thanks to Tim Strode of Kansas Pork Association joining us here on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at kfrm.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did.